The other thing you can do with parameters is that you can build in uh, really behaviors in the in the model. Um, so I'll use this in, I'll use the the bottom shelf as an example here. If if I were to pick that that shelf and say that I wanted to make a an array of the shelf, then an array is like either a set of rows or columns. And I'm thinking that what I want to do is say that um, I want to have a top shelf up here and then I'm going to give the user the option of how many shelves should there be between this point and that point. So what I want to do up here on the array is to say I'm going to pick the last uh, location and I'm, I'm going to constrain it. So what I do is I, I I'm picking up like this is the top of the shelf and I want the last shelf to be up here and now what I've got is here uh, a number that's the number in the array so if I, I just to show you how this works if I if I click or and escape out of this you'll see that when I come down here and I pick it it shows the number this is always confusing for people is that the number is actually there. You see how I have to move into that area to find it. So when I, I'm selecting something, I, I move over here and then I can come up and actually pick that number. And if I were to say 5, then I've got 5. If I were to say uh, 16, then I've got 16. Um, I'm going to change that back to five something like that maybe eight okay so what I want to do is I want to create a parameter that will let the user specify how many shelves there are between the the top and the the bottom so what I'm going to do is I need to create a parameter and because I don't have a dimension placed in here I need to go back up here to the family types and I, down under here under parameter I can create parameters. The, the other way for uh, creating length parameters was better because I could pick on a dimension and get it automatically but you've always got the option of saying add parameter and if you look down here where it says length um, I'm going to come down and there are different kinds of parameters that you can put in but I'm going to put in uh, in integer because it's a whole number and what I'm going to do is call it a uh, number of shells so and and if I want to I might make this an instance parameter that means that I, even if I place the same bookshelf in different places the user will still have the option of saying but in this one I've got five shelves and in this one I've got in this instance of the bookshelf I want to have four that's what this is all about so I'm going to do that number of shelves and I'm going to put in here say uh, five so what I need to do now is on up here I need to tell it that that is uh, where my uh, my value is. Okay. 